Hi everybody, Mike Brown back with you. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop Elements Beginning and Intermediate course. We're about to get into working on the images in the expert mode, all of the various distortions and changes and layers and compositions and all the stuff you can do, but we need to talk about three important things before that. First of all, when you have your image and you're working on it, you need to be saving that image and you need to save it frequently. So we've got to talk about how to save it, where to save it, and the formats, which is the second thing that you can save your image and why we do the various formats. And the third thing we need to talk about is image size, which we're going to do in this lesson, image size, canvas size, and resolution, how they all work together, how you can increase the size of an image, decrease the size of an image, how you size it for print, how you size it for web, and then we go into the formats and saving. So let's get started. All right. Here are some descriptives. We're going to quickly go over these as they all apply. Megapixels, as you always know, let me get the right layer here. Megapixels is the number of pixels on your camera's sensor. That's the horizontal times the vertical pixels on the sensor of the camera. Your file size when you open up an image in Photoshop Elements is actually three times the megapixels, because your sensor shoots a red, green, and blue channel, each with the same number of pixels, so the file size will be three times as big as the megapixels of your camera. Resolution is simply the number of pixels per inch or centimeter, horizontally or vertically, in your image. Now, image size that is, document size, is the length and width of the image independent of resolutions. It's merely the document size. So let's take a look at how we change what document size looks like, how we change it, maintaining the proportions. In other words, not distorting our image. So 